Oh, that was excellent, you know. I really, 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 really enjoyed it. I can't put into words how much I enjoyed the comeback. It was like having a debut again. I was ecstatic, you know. The crowd showed a very fantastic support, and I was over the moon with everything. Was it, was it everything you expected once you stepped into the ring? Hundred percent. Look, I started the cat fight with a kiss, and uh, we ended it with a bit of dancing and a couple of punches. I mean, I, I enjoyed it, you know. It was about uh, coming back, getting some ring rust off, getting under the lights again. Like I said, having a little dance under the lights and just getting used to uh, being back in the ring. It's been a long time, and I'm happy to be back. It's a bit of a loose than that, isn't it? Let's face it. Yeah. Yeah. Referee had a word or two? He did, he did. I was uh, enjoying myself too much in there and I apologise to the referee, but it is entertainment. So where does this take you now? What's your next step? Well, I've just been told by Frank I'm, I'm fighting again in Belfast on August the 18th. The show continues. The roadshow moves to Belfast. Can't wait. And is that enough, what you've done tonight, to do, do it again, step up? Hundred percent. Listen. The, the opponent was quite short um, and he was light, which meant he was quick. Um, he didn't come to fight, basically. He came to run, run around the ring and enjoy himself, basically. Um, I, I opted for a bigger opponent, but we couldn't really get anybody. There was nobody available. So we took Sefer. He had a good record and tough chin. And um, he took me a few rounds. I was happy with it. Very happy, actually. You wanted more. Listen, I was prepared to do 10, 12, 25. Listen, it was, it was always going to take a couple of rounds to, to find the groove, you know, everybody knows where it's all come from. Um, but it took a couple of rounds, once he got into his groove, you know, it, it was improvement. But that's why Franks gave him warm-up fights, and that's part of the reason why Tyson knew that Frank was the right choice, because it, it's the right path to go down, you know. Um, it, you know, it was never going to be Tyson's best performance of his career. I thought it was. It was about getting... Was I enjoyed getting, myself more than that than I did in Vladimir's fight. I really did enjoy it, I swear to God. about getting in there and getting the first one out of the way. How nervous were you, Tyson? Listen, I wasn't like maximal nervous, but I'm not going to say I wasn't nervous. After so long and you're like going under the lights again and being the main event and big crowd, it, it, was, um, it was a bit dodgy really but listen I enjoyed it I wouldn't change a thing I was happy with how everything went um, on to the next one I won 26 and 0 19 inside not a mark on me I'm going to go home tonight and have a pizza and then uh, get back on it tomorrow Ben did you like him sort of reacting a little bit with his time in the first round listen I know Tyson I know Tyson pretty well I, I, I was expecting a bit of it um, but when he got his uh, got his act together and got his groove on he was a uh, it was some good stuff in there. Obviously, like we say, listen, they're warm-up fights for a reason. How, how much credit, Tyson, does this man deserve? Million percent. Look, I probably I wouldn't be boxing. That's a fact. If me and Ben didn't uh, hook up in Spain and decide to train on, I never had no ambition. Ben give it, Ben give me the ambition back. And uh, he's a fun guy to be around. He deserves all the uh, respect he, he gets. And uh, he's a good-looking lad. And if there's any sexy ladies out there. Pass your number on to me and I'll make sure he doesn't get it. <laughs> Frank. I'll call you instead. Yeah. <laughs> um, is the plan still, say, a couple more fights for Tyson before you move on to the big ones? And uh, are you two looking to another dance again like you did last time before the fight? You 12 in the ring? <laughs> uh, I, I, you know, I'm pretty realistic from the beginning. I told everybody from the beginning, don't think we're going to be pulling in big names for his first fights, you know, a few fights to get the rust out of his system, and that's how we... we Move forward. We picked Manuel Char simply because I sorry Manuel Char. We picked um, Sefer Sefer because he fought Manuel Char and he'd gone ten rounds with him, and that's what I was looking for. Somebody had gone some rounds. Um, as soon as he got clipped, he got that uppercut. I think it was in the fourth round, and then obviously um, he, he sat out. Which I was, I've got to be honest, I was a bit disappointed with. But I, I suppose I'll see where they were going with that. Frank wanted him sprawling on the canvas, Frank, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. I want this, no, I just, another ten I want seconds. To see you get some. Get some some more, more rounds under. And realistically, I don't care what anyone says, you know, he says it himself, nervous for the couple of rounds, you know, coming into that crowd. I think that's the best reception he's had. And if, if I'm brutally honest, I could have knocked him out 10 seconds, really. Could have done him in the first round, that's being honest. But what, what would that have done me? I got four rounds instead of 30 seconds, basically. Um, and I enjoyed it. I got a good little four rounds in. Um, TV exposure, baby! Exactly. And, he's, <laughs> and, he's got, and he's got another back, what, another stone and a half to shift? Yeah, there's still a bit so to go. You know, losing all that weight, you know, it's draining. 
And I think he's done brilliantly, you know, in doing that and getting to where he's at. So a bit more weight off, and I think it's just step up, step up each time. The two champions, Wilder and uh, Joshua, are both out of action anyway. So no way that fight was going to. Uh, he, uh, he would have taken him for his first fight back, Anthony Joshua. I know that for a fact. But Anthony Joshua's fighting Povetkin. I think Wilder's got his mandatory. So they're out of action. They'll fight this year. They won't fight again until next spring. And in the meantime, he's not sitting on his backside. We've got to just keep getting rounds under his belt and get him in, in more competitive fights. And that's what we're going to do. The next one's on the 18th of August at Windsor Park on a Carl Frampton bill. And uh, I'm just looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing him back in action. I know Ben and him are going to continue to work very hard in the gym. And they, got, they know they've got lots of things to work on. And he's happy. He's in a good place. And, he's, and, the, and the public love him. They like him. And I'm pleased for him that, that he's finally getting... Uh, Can we get someone seven foot ten next time, uh, Frank? I'll, so nobody's I'll got any complaints. I'll stretch. I'll sh at a stretch. What's the realistic time scale? For, for, you know, if you're talking world well, those two guys are tied up, aren't they? That's the point. That's the point of it all. They're tied up. They've both got fights, and they ain't going to fight twice this year. You know, he's made it very clear, Anthony Joshua, isn't he? He's fighting in the in the autumn. So he's fighting in the autumn. Let's say he fights in September. If it is September, he ain't going to fight in December. That's for sure. So it'd be, you've got to say how it is, not what everybody, all the rubbish people are putting out there. That is how it is, they are the facts. In the meantime, he's got to be busy, he's got to get fights, and he's stepping up each time, and we'll step up next time. And I want him to get some rounds. It's all about him getting rounds, it's all about getting in there, getting that rust out of his system. And first, tonight was the first major step, and that was a great step to get in there, get that nervousness away, get on with it, and do what he had to do. He's fun. I'm the biggest one of all of them. He is. He's, he's fun. It, I told you, it reminds me of the early days working with Naz. It's yeah. fun. It's spontaneous. I mean, you know, the way in when he's picking the guy up, I've never seen anyone do all this sort of stuff, you know, do things. But he just, it's what he is. He's fun and he's got a... He brought this dance moves out of you, Frank. Sorry? He brought the dance moves out of you. Well, he didn't let me get into the groove. I tried to do my best and, he's, and I wanted a lead, but he led. But uh, no, he's... Um, it's great, and it is, it's, it, this is a process, as I said from the beginning, and we'll, we'll, we'll work through it at our speed. Nobody else is going to dictate what it is at our speed. The objective is for him to get back the belts he, didn't, you know, he never lost in the ring, and that is going to take you know, a bit of time. Jason, you proved one or two comedies in June, but you're a bit disappointed they pulled back so quickly you couldn't accept them to show one else. Um, it was what it was, to be honest. He took a couple of hard punches and he didn't fancy it, did he? He told his corner not to send him out for round five. Um, and I was saving him for round five because I said to everyone, I'd knock him out round five. He got, 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 got caught before. with a, that uppercut, I think, in the fourth round. He got clipped with a turn his head. I think that, that was it. Then he didn't want to know. Simple as that. Listen, I was fit. I was ready. I could have fought anybody. I was happy with the performance. Very happy with the performance. Um, on to the next one. I don't know yet. I'm being Somebody big. Somebody big. Somebody big. Who's big? Anybody? Any big, big people? No, we're, uh, we've got a, we're looking at a few guys and I uh, want to get it nailed down within the next week and we can announce it. We're having a press conference in Belfast on Wednesday, so we'll be in Belfast then and go from there. So you'll be the absolute peak by the time it's Josh Wilk or Wilder. Listen, never mind Joshua or Wilder. You're in the, the press conference of the Mac. So any more about him and I'll put you out. Morning, Frank. <laughs> I'll let him. No, he, I'll go to him. You know, it's, it's, you know, keep saying about this thing about, you know, fighting one of them. They ain't around. That is the end of it. They are not available to fight at the moment. That's a fact of life. Let's have a fight, certainly. Bellew's name keeps coming up. There's something that could be done. You know, there's plenty of other names there, but he needs to get the rounds under. He needs to be in the ring regularly. If he's in the ring yep. regularly, he will be, get in a position. As I say, it's easy to make world title fights, very easy to make world title fights. The objective is to win them and defend them. And he needs to be in the position where he can do that. He's got a good team around him. He's in a good place. He's happy. He's having fun. And uh, the name of the game, as I say, is to get these titles back, and that's what we're working on. 100%. Would you like next or certainly the next four or three fights? Say that again. Who would you like next? Um, somebody with one leg. <laughs> that's who I want to fight next. <laughs> now, listen, I'm not really bothered. I'm, I'm ready. I've trained hard. I've done a lot of training. Uh, six months, to be precise. I'll, I'll pick you, Frank. 
Um, whoever they pick, they pick. It doesn't really matter to me. They're all the same anyway. Whether it's Sepa or whether it's um, whoever. They're all the same, really. And the outcome will always be the same. I'll always win. Because all I do is win, 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 no matter what. And that's it. Listen, they're all bums anyway. Wilder, Joshua, Parker, whoever else, they're all shit. They're all as good as Manuel Sefer, whatever his name was. And listen, I'll have a world title by the end of the year, no problem. And if you liked it, thank you very much. And if you didn't like it, well, blame Ben. And that's it. Because <laughs> he told me to do it, didn't you, Ben? Say that again. With, with the weight, obviously you've lost a lot. Yeah. But you still want to lose more. How much does fatigue come into it when you're over your no. weight? Fatigue, nothing. And when I was 28 stone, I could bar 15 rounds with four different guys. I said, no, I've got a natural engine. I wish it was 15 rounds. Um, it was what it was. Any more questions? Yes, it was. It was a fantastic ring was, walk music, wasn't it? Was yes. Funny. Thank you very much. Closed him right down, didn't you, Frank? <laughs> Next question. Any more before I go home to bed? How realistic is Tony Bellew? Sorry? How realistic is Tony Bellew? How realistic is Tony Bellew? It's up to Tony Bellew. Listen, I want someone big. Small ones, I don't like them. Big. Look at Joshua Wilder, they're all over six foot five. So I've got to prepare for people like that. I understand. Big, big, big guys. Big, slow, ugly fellas. That's who I want. The IG. Yeah. Sorry? Sorry? Well, Sorry? <laughs> Any more questions? Are we all done? Yeah. Thank, Thank you very much, guys. Thank you.